If you've eaten anything today, chances are you've snacked on GMOs. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. Genetically modified foods are made from soy, corn, or other crops grown from seeds with genetically engineered DNA. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the USDA, GM seeds are used to plant more than 90% of corn, soybeans, and cotton grown in the United States. Unless you consciously avoid them, GM foods likely find their way into many of your snacks and meals. Some people believe GM foods are safe, healthy, and sustainable, while others claim the opposite. Scientists genetically engineer seeds for many reasons. For example, they sometimes make changes designed to increase a plant's resistance to insects, its tolerance to herbicides, its tolerance for heat, cold, or drought, or just its crop yield. They also engineer seeds to give GM foods stronger colors, increase their shelf life, or eliminate reproduction. That's why we can buy seedless watermelons and grapes. Some GM foods also have been engineered to have higher levels of specific nutrients, such as protein, calcium, or folate. Proponents of GM food contend that genetic engineering can help us find sustainable ways to feed people, specifically in countries that lack access to nutrient-rich foods. The hardiness of some GM crops makes it so they can grow in marginal environments. The longer shelf life of some GM foods allows them to be shipped to remote areas. On the other hand, some people wonder if GM foods are safe and healthy to eat. Genetic engineering is a relatively new development. As a result, research on the long-term health effects of GM foods is limited. GM foods have met the same safety requirements as foods grown from non-GM seeds, but critics suggest there's more to be concerned about. Some people worry that GM foods might be linked to allergies, antibiotic resistance, or even cancer. Others suggest these concerns are unfounded. Here's what the research says.